Okay, when you find yourself in a real close quarters combat situation and you're in the clinch, one of the concepts that you really need to be aware of is what part of this environment you own and what targets you have available to you. And what I mean by that is this. When you're locked up with somebody and you're trying to fight for position, if I'm on the outside of him, I'm a little bit more, uh, I don't have as many options for targets as I do as he does right here. If I'm on the outside, he has all sorts of inside targets to be able to come in. He's got his uppercut, he can put, he can, he's gonna do all kinds of things. He's got, he owns the inside. So you wanna always own the inside of the clinch. And how you do that is basically just taking off your arm and coming in the inside. You've got this whole wide space in here, so you just bring your arm in, bring your arm in. Okay, from here, you've got the inside and you have a lot more options. On the outside, if I tried even coming in with a claw, he can very easily pull his arm up, take mine out, and take me down. When he owns that, he owns my body. All right, so one of the options that you have, very, very easy target to get into, I'm gonna show you, is when you come on the inside, is to just feel your way up. Because you might be locked up in here. I mean, you guys are fighting for position, but if you can come straight up, his chest, you can feel his pec muscles, you feel that little notch right here in the throat, right there. When you feel that notch, you wanna dig your fingers in and down. And especially if he's locked in close and he's trying to pull you in close, you can get a lot of leverage using his momentum trying to pull you in to go in and down, and from here you can take him all the way down to the ground and then escape. 